Snaggle Beast devours your mutant swamp fly. Oh, yeah. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Check and mate. What? Th 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 that's cheating! On the contrary, the rules clearly state that the Blargian Snaggle Beast has an allergic reaction to swamp flies that last two turns. Ooh, it is on again. Your luck is extraordinary, sir. But do you lose as gracefully as you win? I would not know, Maximilian. I never lose. There is a first time for everything. Agent Crank! <laughs> So much for the famous secret agent! <laughs> hmm, shocking. Bring the car around, Jeeves. And mind the ejector seat this time. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for more Secret Agent Clank. That was terrific! Yeah. Great. Change the channel. Uh, but the man said to stay tuned. We continue our live coverage from Velden. Just hours ago, the planet was attacked without warning by a terrifying alien race known as the Tyranoids. Officials believe that an evil robotic supervillain known as Dr. Nefarious is the mastermind behind the Tyranoid attack. As you can see, the Galactic Rangers are putting up a valiant fight, but they are no match for these tentacle-eyed terrors. Indeed, this backwater planet may be completely destroyed in a matter of hours. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. We're going home. But Velden is in the Solana galaxy. Oh no, not the gravimetric warp drive. The untested gravimetric warp drive? The one you built from bloggy and scrap metal? Coming? We are doomed. You were saying? I stand corrected. I just hope we're not too late. On tonight's episode of Nature's Mysteries, we examine the Florana Tree Beast. Deep in the dense growth of Florana's Jambu Forest lives a mysterious creature. Or maybe he doesn't. It's one of nature's mysteries! I've seen him run right through our camping site. He was buck naked, screaming and holding a banana. Or, or maybe it weren't a banana. It, it could be... One of nature's mysteries! Legend tells that this mysterious creature is actually one of the greatest superheroes who ever lived. Shamed by his recent past, he is now one of nature's mysteries. Tune in and find out the answers. Robotic citizens of the Solana Galaxy, the hour of your liberation is at hand. Too long have we robots suffered under the bigotry, the stupidity, the squishiness and foul stench of organic life forms. Soon, all robots will bask in the liberty and equality of my benevolent, iron-fisted rule. And as for you filthy organic life forms, 
you can look forward to being disintegrated! <laughs> That's all for now. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Course. Let's meet tonight's victim. Oops, I mean contestant, Fred. Fred is a gadgetron accountant who claims he once had a morpho ray go off in his pants. What a chair. Let's take a look at what he's up against. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> Next! First, Ratchet and Clank will descend to the sea floor and wade through a series of tunnels flooded with waist-high raw sewage. What? Please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. After infiltrating the base, our agents will split up. Clank will enter the base's ventilation system where he will locate and deploy this banana-guided autonomous monkey device. Or the GAMD. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ratchet will use his extensive knowledge of the Tyranoid language and customs to win the trust of the bloodthirsty alien guards. Finally, our agents will make their way to Nefarious's personal office, steal everything that isn't nailed down, and exfiltrate the base completely undetected. First, I shall humbly step aside, allowing Ratchet to free fall down and take out the mortar launchers at the landing site. Once the mortars have been silenced, the dropship will make its descent. Next, Ratchet will take the assault vehicle from the dropship, make his way to the four plasma cannon turrets, and destroy them. Once the turrets have been knocked out, Ratchet will personally lead the assault on the main enemy base. Tonight, we take a journey inside the enigmatic mind of our galaxy's foremost evil genius, Dr. Nefarious. We'll take a tour of this secret facility on planet Dax, home to some of the galaxy's most insidious superweapons, including the dreaded rainbow Afrolyzer. Dr. Nefarious, we've all enjoyed your past work, but how do you respond to critics who say your latest galactic schemes are just more of the same? I will annihilate them! Lawrence, tell us a bit about this top-secret superweapon being constructed on planet Dax. Well, super is such a strong word. For that matter, weapon may be a tad overdoing it. We do, however, have a lovely view of the ocean at sunset. Is Dr. Nefarious poised on the brink of galactic domination? Or is this super weapon just the latest in a series of maniacal pipe dreams? Stay tuned for more from Supervillain Weekly! Future, and what do I see? Robots going crazy across the galaxy. Cats and organics, they're soft and squishy. The time is now where robots must be. Work personal log entry 101301. After I personally vanquished the protopet menace and revamped the Megacorp testing facility, I decided to focus my efforts on protecting the endangered creatures of the Florana jungle. But when news arrived that Dr. Nefarious had again risen to power, I knew where my true destiny lay. The training necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausting and my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. Though I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions. <sighs> the 
time has come to resume my duties as the greatest hero the galaxy has ever known! Captain Quark! Sorry to disturb your work, sir, but you may want to know that your impenetrable secret base on Aquatos has been penetrated. Impossible! If you say so, sir, they apparently stole some sort of data disk. Well, I must be off now. Dirty laundry and whatnot. Who is responsible for this outrage? I believe it was a Captain Quark or something. Quark! Oh, Janice. You will always be the love of my life. You really should have that looked at. Quark! That moron could never hope to match wits with the likes of me. If anyone can beat a moron at his own game, it's you, sir. He has, however, assembled a group of elite agents known as the Q-Force. What? This Q-Force must be stopped! Destroy them! Eradicate them! Annihilate them all! <laughs> it's on my to-do list, right after folding your undergarments. Sarge! Blackwater City is under attack! The noise came out of nowhere! is extremely, uh, it's, um, well, we're, we're pretty much hosed, sir. Run for your lives! Ah! Sir, requesting immediate assistance! Supernova taxi. I, uh, I need a cab to come get me right away. Whoa, this must be my lucky day. So where can I pick you up, sweet cheeks? Uh, I'm, a, I'm on planet Zeldrin. Just look for the gigantic wrecked star cruiser. You can't miss it. Rex Star Cruiser, huh? Yeah, you sound like a girl who knows how to party. What say you and me go to the cyber disco later on? Watch it, buddy. I mean, don't get fresh with me. Well, sorry, lady. I couldn't help myself. I mean, a woman like you in a dress like that. Oh, this? It's just something I threw together. <laughs> so where you headed? I'll tell you that when you get here. And if you keep this quiet, there's another five bolts in it for you. Oh, one more thing. You have to have a spare charge pack for this thing. P20 crotchetizer, huh? This gets better every second. Oh, the humiliation! Defeated by squishies! Oh, I'll never live this down. Warning, reactor detonation in 60 seconds. Lawrence. Engage the teleporter. Would you care to specify a destination, sir? Who cares? Just get us out of here. Time's up! What? That wasn't even close to 60 seconds! Bye-bye. We're live from the star-studded premiere of the latest hollow film in the Secret Agent Clank series. The atmosphere is positively electric as thousands of fanatical fans clamor for a glimpse of their favorite celebrities. Agent Clank, it seems your luck has finally run out. <laughs> the time has come to say goodbye. <laughs> your tricks won't do you any good this time, Agent Clank. I have been waiting for this moment a long time, and now I am going to blow you into a million pieces! <laughs> Get this thing off me! Well, he got that monkey off his back. <laughs> Do not even think about it.
We are live from the star-studded premiere of the latest Hollow film in the Secret Agent Clank series. The atmosphere is positively electric as thousands of fanatical fans clamor for a glimpse of their favorite celebrities. Agent Clank, it seems your luck has finally run out. <laughs> the time has come to say goodbye. <laughs> your tricks won't do you any good this time, Agent Clank. I have been waiting for this moment a long time, and now I am going to blow you into a million pieces! <laughs> Get this thing off me! Well, he got that monkey off his back. <laughs> Do not even think about it. What do you mean we can't teleport to a planet? I'm afraid we're well out of range, sir. Perhaps if you had bothered to specify a destination... When will we be in range? Oh, I'm sure something will come along in, say, five or ten thousand years. Ah! I don't believe this! Now what? I don't suppose you can play drums. These are the real-life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, this thing on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, and a magic eight ball. In the early days of the fifth Solarian equinox, the Solana galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstar. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? Though still in the prime of his youth, Captain Quark <laughs> was already a living legend. I was beating him off with a stick. However, no previous adventure could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. Guess reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Now we begin the interactive portion of Episode 1. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes a cake. Pirate, ghost, robots. I mean, what do they think? We're idiots? Hey, Professor, snap to it. <clears throat> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. 
With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund, a charity providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people named Quark. I've got a big heart. <laughs> Mr. President, yes, I got the fruit basket, thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. Yeah, <laughs> who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir, I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, right, <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. Quark, comic episode two, Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think they called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying no good. Oof. Right, now where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation, I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid horde. His amoeboid army defeated, Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last of me. I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years! <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <coughs> what? I held my breath! Episode 3, Shadow of the Robot. For six days, Captain Quark clung to the ship like the dung of a giant green space bird. Finally, the ship arrived at its destination, a secret robotic laboratory on planet Magmos. Drawing on his mastery of the ancient art of disguise, Quark slipped into the laboratory completely undetected. Somebody... <coughs> Somebody or die pizza? Quark's plan was flawless. But unbeknownst to our hero, his every move was being watched. The famous Captain Quark couldn't possibly be this stupid, could he? Even drooling imbeciles can achieve success in certain fields, sir. Mad science, for example. Shall I have him annihilated, then? Let him come to us. I'll have a special surprise waiting for him. <laughs> it's over, Nefarious. Never! I am the greatest genius the galaxy has ever known. You're no match for the likes of me. <laughs> That's rich. I used to beat up geeks like you in high school. I'll bet your prom date came in a box that said batteries not included. Say, come to think of it, We've met before, haven't we? No! Uh, uh, no, of course not. Mr. Bozell's ninth grade biology class! Uh, I always hated biology! That's right, you were that freak with the headgear. Remember how he used to clean the chalkboard with your pants <laughs> while you were still wearing them? Oh, good times. You were three times my size, you stupid old! I was always big for my age. You were 26! Say, how about a wedgie for old time's sake? I think it's safe to say we've seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Time to celebrate another job well done. But the danger was far from over. For in defeating one menace to the galaxy, Quark had created another, even more terrifying evil. Episode 4, Deja Q, all over again. After defeating Dr. Nefarious on planet Magmos, 
Quark returned to his condo in Metropolis for some well-earned R&R. Oh, Lance, it's time you knew the truth. The baby isn't yours. What? Who? Who is the father? Oh, your evil twin brother, Engelbert. But Janice, I am Engelbert. Ooh, must be that pizza I ordered. Guten Tag, Captain Flabby. Uh, Helga, what are you doing here? Getting you off your lazy butt. You have plumped up like a giant green bratwurst. <laughs> it is time for the fitness course. Oh, oh, all right. Meanwhile, on a rooftop high above the bustling streets of Metropolis. The hour of my vengeance is at hand. Go now, my robotic servants. Tear this city apart. Bring me the head of Captain Quark. <laughs> Sorry, what's that, Stumpy? This isn't over, Quark. I swear, I will return someday to destroy you and bring Metropolis to its knees! Uh-huh. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. And so Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But... Uh, Seems the script is missing a few pages. <coughs> <coughs> Thanks, Professor. I'll take it from here. And so ends the greatest tale of courage and heroism ever told. The true story of Captain Quark's triumph over the nefarious supervillain known as, uh, well, Dr. Nefarious. This is the true story that Captain Quark hoped you would never see. The unauthorized uncensored and utterly unbelievable missing chapter of the Quark comic series. Pure discretion is advised. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. And so, Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever, but he was dead wrong. Bottoms up. Somebody say something. <laughs> You so long. I was picking out some new curtains for the torture chamber. They're crushed velvet with a gold lame trim. Oh, I think we really add life to the space. Never mind that now. Grab Quark and let's get out of here. Of course, sir. Oh, Quark. I've never met a man like you. After you, I'll be ruined for other men. That's what they all say. <laughs> mm. ah, where am I? You're in my secret prison, awaiting the most ingenious and depraved punishment I can possibly imagine. Come, Lawrence. It's time for my massage. Oh, goody. Using his antenna as a lockpick, Quark eventually managed to open the door to his cell. Almost got it. But his escape did not go unnoticed. Uh-oh. After his narrow escape from the clutches of Dr. Nefarious, Quark dropped down to the public eye. Truth is, Quark was holed up in his secret hideout on the Thran asteroid, terrified that Dr. Nefarious would make good on his promise of revenge. When Nefarious didn't resurface, Quark assumed he was gone forever and returned to his career as a high-profile celebrity superhero. But the galaxy had not seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Ouch! What do you think you're doing, you oaf? Do hold still, sir. This is a very delicate procedure. There, that should do the trick. Go ahead, take her for a spin. What's going on? Where are my arms? Whose butt is this? Oh, my mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry. Laura! Oh, Lance. Oh, my. We will have to get that fixed. <laughs> One of these days. Greetings, Quark cadets. This is Captain Quark, here to teach you everything you need to know about playing a multiplayer game. Let's get started. The multiplayer game can be played in split screen or online mode. Players are divided into red and blue teams. 
The object of a multiplayer game is to capture the opposing team's base. To capture a base, you must first destroy both of the base's Gatling turrets. Then, teleport inside the base and destroy the power core. Ah, the sweet smell of victory! This is a node. Nodes are neutral objectives that can be captured by either team. There are usually several nodes placed throughout the map. You can capture a node by turning the bolt crank until the node turns your color. Capturing nodes gives your team access to various advantages, including vehicles, drones, special weapons, Vulcan turrets, and spawn points! You can drive two different vehicles in a multiplayer match, the Turbo Slider, and my personal favorite, the Hover Ship. All vehicles can be crewed by up to two players, a driver and a gunner. The radar display in the bottom right corner of the screen shows the positions of nearby teammates and enemies. Press R3 or select at any time to call up a full screen map of the level. If you are killed in a multiplayer game, you will respawn on the battlefield after a few seconds. You can choose to respawn at any node controlled by your team or at your main base. Joining an online game is easy! Just select Quick Play from the main multiplayer menu and you will be automatically placed into a game with players of your own skill level. Alright, now you're ready to get out there and kick some butt! Let's get to it, cadet! Just hours ago, bio-obliterators devastated Metropolis. The devices have since disappeared and their current location is unknown. Galactic citizens are in a state of hysteria, reacting to news that Dr. Nefarious is planning identical attacks across the galaxy. We're live from Planet Marcadia with the Galactic President. Mr. President, how will the attack on Metropolis affect your chances for re-election this fall? I'm glad you asked, Darla. Our demographic research indicates that robots will make up 100% of the galactic population by this time next week. And of course, that's great news for my re-election campaign because, as you know, I'm half-robot myself! 